CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 5 Elementary Shapes Page 86 Part 1 5.1 Introduction All the shapes we see around us are formed using curves or lines. We can see corners, edges, planes, open curves and closed curves in our surroundings. We organize them into line segments, angles, triangles, polygons and circles. We find that they have different sizes and measures. Let us now try to develop tools to compare their sizes. 5.2 Measuring Line Segments we have drawn and seen so many line segments. A triangle is made of three, a quadrilateral of four line segments. A line segment is a fixed portion of a line. This makes it possible to measure a line segment. This measure of each line segment is a unique number called its length. We use this idea to compare line segments. To compare any two line segments, we find a relation between their lengths. This can be done in several ways. 1. Comparison by observation. By just looking at them, can you tell which one is longer? We have two different line segments, AB and CD. You can see that line segment AB is longer. But you cannot always be sure about your usual judgment. For example, look at the adjoining segments. We again have two segments of approximately equal lengths. Page 87 The difference in lengths between these two may not be obvious. This makes other ways of comparing necessary. In this adjacent figure, Segment AB and segment PQ have the same lengths. This is not quite obvious. So we need better methods of comparing line segments. We have another figure with AB and PQ as the different segments. 2. Comparison by tracing. We again have two different line segments, AB and CD. To compare segments AB and CD, we use a tracing paper Trace segment CD and place the traced segment on segment AB. Can you decide now which one among segments AB and CD is longer? The method depends upon the accuracy in tracing the line segment. Moreover, if you want to compare with another length, you have to trace another line segment. This is difficult and you cannot trace the lengths every time you want to compare them. 3. Comparison using ruler and a divider Have you seen or can you recognize all the instruments in your instrument box? Among other things, you have a ruler and a divider. We have the pictures of ruler and divider given here. Note how the ruler is marked along one of its edges. It is divided into 15 parts. Each of these 15 parts is of length 1 cm. Each centimeter is divided into 10 subparts. Each subpart of the division of a centimeter is 1 mm. 1 mm is 0.1 cm. 2 mm is 0.2 cm, and so on. 2.3 cm will mean 2 cm and 3 mm. How many millimeters make 1 cm? Since 1 cm is equal to 10 mm, how will we write 2 cm? 3 mm? What do we mean by 7.7 .7 cm? Place the zero mark of the ruler at A. Read the mark against B. This gives the length of segment AB. We have a picture of a ruler and the line segment AB to show the same. Suppose the length is 5.8 cm. We may write length AB is equal to 5.8 cm or more simply as AB 
is equal to 5.8 centimeters. There is room for errors even in this procedure. The thickness of the ruler may cause difficulties in reading off the marks on it. Page 88. Think, discuss and write. 1. What other errors and difficulties might we face? 2. What kind of errors can occur if viewing the mark on the ruler is not proper? How can one avoid it? Positioning error. To get correct measure, the eye should be correctly positioned, just vertically above the mark. Otherwise, errors can happen due to angular viewing. We have the picture of an object to be measured and above it we have the wrong eye position, correct eye position and another wrong eye position. Can we avoid this problem? Is there a better way? Let us use the divider to measure length. Open the divider, place the end point of one of its arms at A and the end point of the second arm at B taking care that opening of the divider is not disturbed. Lift the divider and place it on the ruler. Ensure that one end point is at the zero mark of the ruler. Now read the mark against the other end point. This exercise is shown visually through two pictures. Try these. 1. Take any postcard. Use the above technique to measure its two adjacent sides. 2. Select any three objects having a flat top. Measure all sides of the top using a divider and a ruler. Exercise 5.1 1. What is the disadvantage in comparing line segments by mere observation? 2. Why is it better to use a divider than a ruler while measuring the length of a line segment? 3. Draw any line segment, say AB. Take any point C lying in between A and B. Measure the lengths of AB, BC and AC. Is AB equal to AC plus CB? Note, if A, B, C are any three points on a line such that AC plus CB is equal to AB, then we can be sure that C lies between A and B. Page 89. 4. If ABC are three points on a line such that AB is equal to 5 cm, BC is equal to 3 cm, and AC is equal to 8 cm, which one of them lies between the other two? 5. Verify whether D is the midpoint of segment AG. We have the segment AG shown here. And we have some other points marked by B, C, D, E and F. 6. If B is the midpoint of segment AC and C is the midpoint of segment BD, where A, B, C, D lie on a straight line, say why A, B is equal to C, D. 7. Draw five triangles and measure their sides. Check in each case if the sum of the lengths of any two sides is always less than the third side. 5.3. Angles. Right and straight. You have heard of directions in geography. We know that China is to the north of India, Sri Lanka is to the south. We also know that sun rises in the east and sets in the west. There are four main directions. They are north, n, south, s, east, e, and west, w. Do you know which direction is opposite to north? Which direction is opposite to west? Just recollect what you know already. We now use this knowledge to learn a few properties about angles. Stand facing north. Do this. Turn clockwise to east. We say you have turned through a right angle. Follow this by a right angle turn clockwise. You now face south. If you turn by a right angle in the anti-clockwise direction, which direction will you face? It is east again. Why? 
study the following positions. We have four different diagrams given here showing the directions. The second diagram says you stand facing north. Third diagram tells us by a right angle turn clockwise you now face east. The fourth diagram tells us by another right angle turn you finally face south. Page 90 From facing north to facing south you have turned by two right angles. Is not this the same as a single turn by two right angles? The turn from north to east is by a right angle. The turn from north to south is by two right angles. It is called a straight angle. And S is a straight line. The figure next to this shows the same. Stand facing south. Turn by a straight angle. Which direction do you face now? You face north. To turn from north to south, you took a straight angle turn. Again, to turn from south to north, you took another straight angle turn in the same direction. Thus, turning by two straight angles, you reach your original position. The figure next to this shows the same. Think, discuss and write. By how many right angles should you turn in the same direction to reach your original position? Turning by two straight angles or four right angles in the same direction makes a full turn. This one complete turn is called one revolution. The angle for one revolution is a complete angle. We can see such revolutions on clock faces. When the hand of a clock moves from one position to another, it turns through an angle. Suppose the hand of a clock starts at 12 and goes round until it reaches at 12 again. Has it not made one revolution? So, how many right angles has it moved? The picture next to this shows the same. Consider these examples. We have three different figures of clock faces. The first one shows the time from 12 to 6. 1 by 2 of a revolution or 2 right angles. The second one says from 6 to 9, 1 by 4 of a revolution or 1 right angle. The third one says from 1 to 10, 3 by 4 of a revolution or 3 right angles. Page 91. Try these. 1. What is the angle name for half a revolution? 2. What is the angle name for one fourth revolution? 3. Draw five other situations of one fourth, half, and three fourth revolution on a clock. Note that there is no special name for three fourth of a revolution. Exercise 5.2. 1. What fraction of a clockwise revolution does the hour hand of a clock turn through when it goes from A, 3 to 9, B, 4 to 7, C, 7 to 10, D, 12 to 9, E, 1 to 10, F, 6 to 3? 2. Where will the hand of a clock stop if it A, starts at 12 and makes 1 by 2 of a revolution clockwise. B. Starts at 2 and makes 1 by 2 of a revolution clockwise. C. Starts at 5 and makes 1 by 4 of a revolution clockwise. D. Starts at 5 and makes 3 by 4 of a revolution clockwise. 3. Which direction will you face if you start facing? A. East and make 1 by 2 of a revolution clockwise. B. East and make 1 1 by 2 of a revolution clockwise. C. West and make 3 by 4 of a revolution anti clockwise. D. South 
and make one full revolution. Should we specify clockwise or anticlockwise for this last question? Why not? A figure next to this shows the same thing being done. Searching for the direction. 4. What part of a revolution have you turned through if you stand facing A. East and turn clockwise to face north? B. South and turn clockwise to face east? C. West and turn clockwise to face east? 5. Find the number of right angles turned through by the hour hand of a clock when it goes from a. 3 to 6 B. 2 to 8 C. 5 to 11 D. 10 to 1 E. 12 to 9 F. 12 to 6 Page 92 6. How many right angles do you make if you start facing A. South and turn clockwise to west B. North and turn anti-clockwise to east. C. West and turn to west. D. South and turn to north. 7. Where will the hour hand of a clock stop if it starts A. From 6 and turns through one right angle. B. From 8 and turns through two right angles. C. From 10 and turns through three right angles. D. From seven and turns through two straight angles. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.